This is the Ulanzi camera mount desk stand. It costs $100, comes with a ton of different accessories and arms, and can be used to create just about any camera setup you can imagine. And in this video, we're gonna take this thing and create a YouTube A-roll set, also a B-roll top-down set, as well as a video meeting setup, and each of those configurations can be changed within minutes. So unboxing this thing reveals a ton of accessories and they're pretty well made. You get three different arms with different lengths, all kinds of different attachments for microphones, cameras, lights, and it connects to your desk with a single pull like you see here. So without further ado, let's see what I was able to come up with using this crazy desk stand. And here we have everything set up. So you'll notice we've got our stand here in the middle. You can see on this camera as well as that camera over there. We've got the $100 stand. I've got a light on one arm. I have the camera, which is currently behind my monitor, kind of hidden away. So from this angle, you can see I can just sit here working away. There's no camera. Of course, I have a laptop here, but you could have a monitor instead. We've got an arm up top, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. And instead of mounting the microphone arm to the stand, I've actually just clamped it to the desk and that frees up another arm for me to use for something else. So this is kind of, I'm working no camera mode. We're now going to switch over to kind of an A-roll set or a YouTube setup, if you will. So I can take this laptop, which is mounted on a Visa arm, and I'll go ahead and just swing it out of the way, like so. With that out of the way, I can now adjust my camera, which as you can see before, I had it kind of hidden behind the computer. Now I can loosen up this arm, swing the camera all the way around just like that. And I'll have a recording here. And now I can adjust the height very easily if I need to, just like that. And boom, the camera is set up. I still have my laptop here so I can go ahead and pull up notes or have something else here or just completely get rid of it if I need to. With the laptop out of the way and the camera set up, now we're going to talk about lighting. So in this case, I'm using the Falcon Eyes 12T LED mat, which I really, really dig. I think it's a fantastic light. You could, of course, go with something more affordable or more expensive. This is kind of a nice middle of the road light. And what I can do is go ahead and loosen this arm right here and I'll swing the light around. Something like that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and turn on the light. I have the controller right here on the desk. And with that light turned on, I can turn off the other lights here in the studio. And now we have just a single light source for this setup. Now it's kind of dark in here, so I'm gonna turn on a lamp in the background. So now things are looking pretty good, but I am in a pitch black giant room with no white walls, no windows, which isn't probably what most people have in an office. So I'm going to take this white foam board. And I'm actually gonna prop it up against my laptop. There's a billion ways you could rig this up. But now you can see we've got some lighter, your actual light on this side of my face. It's acting as a fill, reflecting some of our key light onto that dark side of my face. So here's what it looks like with the foam board. I'll get rid of it. And there's what it looks like without. So fairly big difference. When it comes to mounting this light, I actually use the arm that's designed for the microphone arm, remove the mic arm, ran a quarter 20 bolt and washer through the hole at the end of the arm and thread it on a spigot with a female quarter 20 tap. Now I can mount the light to the arm, swing it around, and that's the setup that you see here. So that takes care of lighting. For the camera, I'm currently using an A6400 with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens at F2.8 ISO 800 and I'm shooting this in log for those who are curious. So that is mounted to the camera stand, which has that ball head that all comes with this stand setup. For my audio, I'm using the same arm that comes with this setup. I'll boom it up here. So pretty nice, got those springs on it so I can easily move it around. But instead of mounting it to the stand, I opted to just clamp it to the desk. So you can go on Amazon and buy a clamp for these arms since it didn't come with a dedicated desk clamp and throw it on the desk as you see here. It's really easy to move it out of the way when I'm done filming. I also can position the microphone incredibly easily. So as you can see, it's in the shot right now, which maybe isn't ideal. Maybe you don't wanna see it in the shot. So using a ball head on the end of the mic arm, you can adjust the angle of the microphone as you can see here. And I'm going to go ahead and just boom this down and out of the shot. Something 
like that ought to do. I'll lock it in place. And since the microphone is a little further away, I'll bump up my audio levels real quick. Now my audio levels are a little higher and I think this sounds great. The microphone I'm using is the Rode Video Micro, which I've used for setups like this in the past because it's really affordable, it's tiny, and it works great for setups like this. I'm running a cable directly to the camera for my sound, and that takes care of audio. Just for reference, I'm not using any sound treatment in this space, so this is what it sounds like with nothing but the microphone and a bunch of hard surfaces, which isn't necessarily a good thing for video. So that takes care of our main A-roll shot. What if I wanna film some B-roll though? Let's say I wanna get some really nice shots of this super cool Pentex camera, and I wanna do it at the desk using this setup. Well, now we're going to move over to doing a top-down setup where we have the camera mounted above the desk, pointed straight down. We're gonna set up the lighting and whatnot, and it's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to be doing is moving the microphone arm out of the way and moving the camera from the lower arm to a triple arm that I have mounted at the top of the pole. On that three section arm that's mounted to the top of the pole, I took the little lighting stud and flipped it in the other direction so it's now pointing down. Then I threaded on another ball head that I bought off of Amazon. And with that, we can mount the camera pointed straight down at the desk. From there, I can take my lighting arm and lower it closer to the table, pointed down at the desk surface. And finally, since I'm using a black desk, I threw on a gray sheet of paper or cardboard to give us a lighter background. And here is what the B-roll setup looks like with everything switched up. So we've got our light off to the side, our bounce board, our gray little paper backdrop here, and we've mounted the camera to the upper arm facing straight down. I'm actually still using the microphone, so you could easily do kind of B-roll or voiceover while filming with your product or whatever you have in your frame. I'll go ahead and turn off the house lights so that you can see what things look like when we just have this single light and the fill board. So I'll go ahead and grab this camera to show you what kind of shots you could get with a setup like this. I just really like how clean the lighting looks, nice soft light, easily could switch to this setup from your YouTube setup or that A-roll setup we talked about and just a really, really quick and easy way to get some nice, pretty shots of things you're talking about in your video. So just another setup you can very quickly switch to with this $100 stand. And now we're back to the A-roll setup, and I love that you can go from tabletop back to this A-roll using the exact same $100 stand at the same desk. Now for our third setup, we're gonna kinda do a live streaming slash Zoom call, video call setup, if you will. And I have my computer mounted just below the actual camera lens. I raise the camera up slightly. I'll turn on a background light so you can better see what we've got going on here. So pretty straightforward setup. We've got the computer, the camera, light is pretty much in the exact same position. Super easy to set up. Now I can rock a video meeting or a live stream, be able to look down at my notes and whatnot. I'll turn off that main light. So again, you can see what the setup looks like. And of course, if I want that fill back, I can grab my trusty white board or white foam board here and I'll just lean it up against the display like that. And we've got this great, super minimal, super tidy uh, little live streaming or video call setup. So, so far this is all pretty great. I'm really enjoying this cheap stand that you can do a lot of things with, but there are definitely some problems with this setup and I'm gonna talk about those now before you run out and potentially purchase this thing. The first thing I notice immediately about this setup and might be a problem depending on how you build rigs like this is going to be the wobble. This stand and the arm that are attached to it aren't nearly as rigid as other setups I've talked about in the past, including that other desk stand that we did a video on a while ago. If I just simply put my elbows on the desk and start getting crazy, you can see the camera starts to wobble, the lights, you know, things start moving around a little bit, which could be a problem if you're, I don't know, doing something very aggressive with your desk, typing super heavily. Depending on the setup, your camera, you might not wanna put something really heavy on here. Another issue with this stand is if you want to loosen something and raise it up along the stand, uh, it's really tight, so it's actually very difficult to do that. Another problem with the stand compared to other solutions I've talked about in the past is that you have to loosen the knobs to move them around. And even though I just said that it, things don't slide very smoothly on that pole, they still might slip around. So you have to constantly be loosening and tightening knobs. 
Um, and if you don't tighten them, they kind of sag, which is unfortunate. Whereas that other desk mount I talked about, you can just leave things where they are. And if you need to move something, you just grab it and move it. There's no wiggle and you can freely adjust things without having to undo a bunch of knobs. In the pro department, there are things about this stand that I like. And one of them is one of the cons as well, is that you can lock things in place. On the other arm, you have to use little Allen keys. For the most part, I just leave things kind of loose so I can move them around. But if you want this light to stay right here and not move at all, no matter what, you can do that with this setup. Another thing I really like about this arm system is that you can adjust the arms independently. Other desk mounts that I've talked about in the past will often have two arms mounted to the same point. So if you move one arm up, you gotta move both of them up. So for a hundred bucks, I really don't think you can go wrong with this thing. Even if you upgrade to something else down the road, you'll be able to find so many uses for this crazy desk stand. And that's gonna wrap up this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos about making videos. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you in the next video.